Alright guys, Pliffy here. Welcome back and today I'm going to show you how to turn your wired audio devices into wireless. Having a wireless setup has many benefits. This includes having a clean, clutter-free setup. You will also have unrestricted movements. On top of that, our devices may last longer. No more wire breakage caused by the tension from using cable wires. This is true in most cases except for gaming. The reason for this is wireless connectivity sometimes produces noticeable latency or lag which is not good for gaming. That is why most gaming manufacturers sell wired peripherals. And I say, stick to using wires if you are gaming. In a standard wireless Bluetooth connection, we got to have two types of devices. First is the transmitter, second is the receiver. Here, the transmitter is a phone. The receiver is a Bluetooth headset. The phone transmits audio signals to the receiving headset, making the connection complete. Here, we have a phone and a wired headset. To make the connection wireless, we need to attach a receiver to the wired headset. The same goes with the wired speakers or soundbar. And this also applies in cars or vehicles with sound systems. In this example, we have a TV and a Bluetooth headset. To make the connection wireless, we need to attach a transmitter to the TV in order for it to transmit its signals to the receiving Bluetooth headset. In this last example, a TV and a wired headset. Both are non-Bluetooth. We can make the connection wireless by attaching a transmitter to the TV and also a receiver to the headset. Before I show you my setup, I would like to clarify that this video is about making your wired audio wireless via Bluetooth. If you are interested in projecting your videos wirelessly, check the link above. I have three of these devices, but now I guess the other one's not functioning, so only two. All are battery operated except for number three. For more information, I provided the links of the items in the video description. And since I bought them a long time ago, you'll probably see more improved designs online. I also provided chapters in the timeline for easy scrolling. Don't hesitate to ask questions, put it in the comments if you have some. And also, don't forget, we have a subreddit if you want to post your questions in picture or video format.
The most common problem is pairing. These types of transmitters and receivers have auto pairing function, which means it will auto pair to the last device it was paired to, making it unable to pair to a new device if it's still connected to the previous one. Unfortunately, most of them don't have any visual cues to tell us whether or not they are connected to another device or what device they are already connected to. If you have trouble pairing, better check the previously connected device, disconnect it, unpair it, or probably just turn it off. The next common problem would be range and interference. Most Bluetooth devices can only reach 10 meters or less in an open area, and the signal can also degrade whenever there are walls interfering the connection. So be sure your transmitters or receivers can reach each other wirelessly by thinking about the range and interference. The last problem I can think about is the battery capacity of these devices. You should always put in mind that the battery time for most of these devices probably won't last that long, around 1 hour or so. So better prepare your power bank if you want to make these devices portable. And one more thing, I would like you to remember that since I bought my Bluetooth transmitters and receivers, it has been a very long time and probably some of those devices have been updated or has new features. If you can spare more time, do look for an updated version of the same. It took me a while to finish this, so I hope, really hope you like this. You can show your support by clicking the like button. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts about the topic or perhaps share your experiences with Bluetooth connection. You can also post your questions below in the comments. And lastly, join the subreddit. It's free. We have cookies. And see you on the next one. Bye!